Good morning students. In this video, we will discuss the steps how to check whether the two FDs are equivalent or not. Let's take that they have taken two FD sets. X and Y are two FD sets for a relation R. From a relation R, relation R consists of some attributes A comma B comma C comma D. Using those attributes and using the relation, they have found two sets of FDs. Okay, now they are want to check whether the two FD sets are equivalent or not. Okay, there is a set 1 of FDs are there, set 2 of FDs are there. They are asking us to check whether they are equivalent or not. Now, the, what is the step 1 is, if all FDs of X can be derived from the FDs present in Y. Okay, if all FDs of X can be derived from FDs present in Y, then I can say that Y covers X. Okay, this will be represented like this. Y covers X. So meaning is that all the FDs of X are there in the Y itself. That is the step 1. Step 2 is that if all FDs of Y can be derived from FDs present in X, then we will say that X covers Y. We will represent like this in the Venn diagram. Means set of FDs X covers the set of FDs in the Y. Now the third step is that if y covers x and x covers y both are true means the step 1 is true and step 2 is true then I will say that the set of fds present in x and the set of fds present in y are equal okay I hope you have understood the explanation but anyway for better understanding I will take few examples and I will explain the concept so that you can understand the concept in a better way and you can solve these kind of questions if it comes in the gate or any UGC net exam or any competitive exams in a very easy manner. Okay. Thank you so much.